Greetings, fellow seekers of the mysterious. Today, we embark on a chilling voyage back in time to the gaslit streets of Victorian London, where an enigma lurks in the shadows, Jack the Ripper. Join me as we unravel the mystique of one of history's most notorious figures, the setting. Close your eyes and imagine the year 1888, a time when gas lamps cast feeble light on cobblestone streets, and the fog of the Industrial Revolution hangs heavily in the air. Now, place yourself in Whitechapel, the poverty-stricken district of London, where despair and destitution form the backdrop to our tale. The air is thick with tension, a palpable sense of unease that permeates the narrow alleys and dimly lit corners. It's in this grim setting that our story begins, a story that would go on to etch its name into the annals of true crime history. The Victims Between the years 1888 and 1891, the haunting specter of Jack, the Ripper claimed the lives of at least five women. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, and Mary Jane Kelly, their names etched in history, their fates forever linked by the brutality of their murders. These weren't just random acts of violence. They were carefully orchestrated, ritualistic killings that sent shockwaves through Victorian society. The brutality and precision exhibited in each murder left investigators and the public alike grasping for answers. The mystery unfolds. What makes Jack the Ripper so elusive and enduring? It's the relentless pursuit of the unknown, the cold precision of the murders, the lack of a discernible motive, and the phantom-like ability of the killer to vanish into the labyrinthine streets of London. All these elements contribute to a mystery that refuses to be unraveled. In a time before forensics and modern investigative techniques, the Victorian police found themselves grappling with a case that seemed to defy resolution. Theories emerged, suspects were questioned, but the identity of the true culprit eluded them, leaving the city gripped in fear and speculation. The letters. As if the murders weren't perplexing enough, the tale takes a bizarre turn with the emergence of the deer box and from hell letters. Were these sinister messages truly from Jack the Ripper, or were they elaborate hoaxes designed to heighten the terror? The answer, like the identity of the killer, remains shrouded in uncertainty. The letters laden with cryptic messages and gruesome details, added a layer of horror to an already terrifying narrative. Some believe they offer clues to the killer's identity, while others dismiss them as the work of attention-seeking individuals. Regardless, the letters stand as eerie artifacts from a time steeped in dread. Investigations and Suspects The Victorian police, armed with limited forensic tools, found themselves grappling with a case that seemed to defy resolution. Suspects ranged from doctors to local butchers, with names like Montag John Drute and Walter Sickert etched into the annals of Ripper lore. Yet, the identity of the true culprit eluded them. In the absence of concrete evidence, theories abounded. Some pointed fingers at those with medical knowledge, suggesting a surgical precision in the murders. Others speculated that the killer was someone from within the community, exploiting the poverty and chaos of Whitechapel to carry out their heinous acts. Conspiracy Theories Enter the world of conspiracy theories, where whispers of a royal cover-up and connections to secret societies add layers of intrigue. While these theories captivate the imagination, they often leave us deeper into the shadows, leaving us to question whether the truth can ever truly be uncovered. The idea of a cover-up involving powerful figures fuels the imagination, hinting at a darker underbelly to the case. Could Jack the Ripper have been shielded by those in high places? Or are these conspiracy theories mere diversions, designed to distract from the unsettling reality that the killer may never be unmasked? Social Impact The ripple effect of the Waitekapol murders transcended the crime scenes. It permeated society, sparking discussions on women's safety and the plight of the impoverished. Jack the Ripper inadvertently became a catalyst for change, a dark force that influenced the course of history. The terror that gripped Victorian London forced society to confront uncomfortable truths. Issues of poverty, inequality, and the vulnerability of women took center stage in public discourse. The Ripper became more than a mere criminal. He became a symbol of the societal ills that plagued the era. Modern Investigations In the 21st century, modern tools and historical research have breathed new life into the quest to unmask Jack the Ripper. DNA analysis and forensic techniques unimaginable in the Victorian era have been applied to old evidence. Can these advancements succeed where their predecessors failed, or is the Ripper destined to remain a ghost of the past? 
The quest to unmask Jack, the Ripper continues, with contemporary investigators relying on cutting-edge technology to revisit the crime scenes and scrutinize evidence. The hope is that the secret hidden in the shadows of Victorian London can be brought into the light of modern understanding. The unanswered questions. As we approach the conclusion of our journey, the questions persist. What dark motives propelled Jack the Ripper? Was he a product of his time, a manifestation of societal woes, or an anomaly that defies explanation? The answers, veiled in the mists of time, continue to elude us. The elusiveness of Jack, the Ripper's identity serves as a stark reminder that some mysteries may be destined to remain unsolved. Theories come and go, suspects rise and fall, but the shadow of the Ripper endures, casting a long and haunting silhouette over the pages of history, unraveling the motive. One of the enduring enigmas surrounding Jack the Ripper is the motive behind the gruesome murders. Unlike conventional criminal motivations, the Ripper's intent appears shrouded in darkness. Some theorists suggest a twisted form of vigilantism, a macabre attempt to cleanse the streets of perceived societal vices. Others propose more psychological motivations, ranging from the desire for power to the fulfillment of a sadistic compulsion. The absence of a clear motive adds an unsettling layer to the mystery, leaving us to wonder about the mind that orchestrated these heinous acts. The Legacy of Fear the lasting legacy of fear instilled by Jack the Ripper goes beyond the Victorian era. The terror he unleashed continues to echo through the pages of true crime history, influencing the way we perceive unsolved mysteries. The concept of the serial killer was in its infancy during the Ripper's reign of terror, and his crimes set a chilling precedent for the genre. The Ripper became an archetype, a figure that transcends time leaving a profound impact on crime narratives in literature, film, and popular culture. Conclusion In the shadows of Victorian London, Jack the Ripper's legacy endures, a haunting tale of murder, mystery, and a city forever change. As we step back into the light of the present, the whispers of the past remind us that some secrets are destined to remain locked away. Join me in our next exploration into the unknown. Until then, stay curious and embrace the mystery that surrounds us.